So these will be mixed messages. We got laid off, unbreakable, ace of cups. Well, a cup of love, same thing as ace of cups. We have engagement, proper, and then we have no play. So these will be mixed messages, and then I'm probably going to do like a separate spread. So um, y'all just take what resonates, Leo, and leave out the rest. So somebody may feels like, somebody feel like they got laid off. Somebody may have got laid off um, from a job. Um, I'm also getting this energy where you guys could be either living with somebody or sleeping with somebody. Um far as like y'all having like a situationship or whatever but maybe somebody don't want to make out anymore Leo maybe there could be pushing this person could be pushing you away basically some of y'all could be dealing with somebody they could be pushing sex away from you this is somebody that you have like an unbreakable bond with for some of my Leos but I am seeing that there is love there I'm also seeing that this situation can be one-sided in regards of feelings Leo, if you are dealing with somebody um, and they can be pushing love, I mean, sex away from you, it's because this is a, a, a unrequited love situation. Or it could be the other way around. Some of y'all could be pushing um, love away, um, sex and love away from somebody. Although there is a bond between y'all. It's just that maybe you don't love this person. Maybe it is one-sided. But yes, there is, somebody is not loyal. That's why. So if you're dealing with somebody and they're not getting laid with you, Leo, it's because they're not loyal. With the Queen of Pentacles reversed, let me show you all these cards. They're, they're not loyal. Now, I'm also getting this energy where some of y'all have got laid off at a job um, due to, um, yeah, they're saying that the, the job is not loyal. Maybe they can't pay you. I'm hearing that some of y'all at a, at a job or was at a job that couldn't even pay you the amount of money that you was owed. And, and that could be the reason why you have got laid off. But we about to keep um, laying some cards down. I'm going to clarify. We got strength. We got six of cups reversed. And then I'm going to use... Should I use these? I don't know. I'm going to use some of these too. It's probably these. But... Yes, okay. If this is, if you want to look at it as a as a work standpoint, it is saying that somebody is being laid off due to them not being able to pay you, you know, for longer hours or whatever. The rest of y'all, it is saying y'all dealing with somebody that's not loyal and they don't want to sleep. They don't want to sleep with you or you don't want to sleep with them because they're dealing with other people. Somebody dealing with other people, that's why you don't want to get laid. Somebody keep maybe this person keep be pushing you away Leo especially if you live with this person if you live with this person they could keep could be pushing you away in the bedroom wow we got feminine energy wow you could be somebody that is very um gentle to this person nurturing um I, I'm getting this energy maybe you are somebody that is currently pregnant by this person and maybe they act like they don't want to show you no love and no affection while y'all laying in the bed I'm just getting that energy. Some of y'all could be your own baby mama or own baby dad that could be pushing you away in the bedroom. Some of y'all be careful because they could have another person pregnant. And that could be another reason why that somebody could be pushing somebody away. Now, I'm also getting this energy, Leo. This could be you. If you are somebody that, um, that could be pregnant by this person, right? And y'all in the bed together. Maybe you you could be feeling like you don't want to be bothered. Maybe you could be pushing this person away because you just don't. Maybe you're not in the mood to have sex with this person. It could be that way. So y'all just take what resonate and flip flop the energy if you have to. So if it's not you, it can be your person's energy, you know. But somebody may not be in the mood to um, make out because they could be feeling a bit uncomfortable because they are pregnant. But um, most of y'all, this is a person doing this to you or you're doing this to them is because they um, are not loyal. They're not. And this is somebody that you probably take care of, whoever this is, you know. Some of you guys have kids with this person, whether they are born children that's already, you know, walking around and stuff. Or it could be you could be currently pregnant. Like I said, y'all take what resonates. But um, I'm also getting this energy, Leo, where some of you guys have an unbreakable um bond with somebody it could be a bond whoever this is this is somebody that you um 
share, I'm here and hold a lot of love for Leo. But I'm just getting this, this like energy where somebody could be wanting to cuddle. I don't know, I'm hearing cuddle. But it is telling me that some of you guys are still holding on to someone or somebody still holding on to you. Or it's both. Like I said, the love is there for some of y'all. If you want to look at it, you know, if you don't want to break this apart right here. Like I said, these are mixed messages. Just take what resonates. But I just feel like somebody is just not in a mood to um, make out. But for some of y'all... Y'all have somebody that you have an unbreakable bond with. Yes, like I said, they do love you or you love them or it can be both. But I feel like it's just for to, to have fun. We got good vibes now now, and we got in the moment today. So somebody could be holding on. Maybe today somebody's birthday. I don't know. Some of y'all could be dealing with somebody and maybe today they birthday. Or they could be um, only want to come around or, or whatever because of your birthday. I don't know. Maybe you could be cross-watching. But... I am getting that energy where um, it could be a fire sign. Maybe it could be an Aries or a Leo that you may be dealing with. And maybe they only want to come around because you, you know, it, it's, it's their birthday. Maybe they want to get something out of you, Leo. Some of y'all. This is somebody that pop up on a birthday. I'm getting that energy. Whether it's a Leo or Aries. You could be cross-watching for a Leo or Aries. But it is telling me that this is some type of like unbreakable bond that y'all have with each other leo but i'm just getting this come and go energy this is somebody that comes and go whenever they want to and they know you they have this strong hold over you leo so they try to use today which could be their birthday as a way of you know getting their way i'm getting that because they know that you are somebody who is very loving and nurturing you know and stuff like that but like i said there is love this person does know you love them but I feel like some of y'all could be dealing with somebody that is definitely coming back from the past. I'm hearing that you, it's either you love them or they love you or it could be mutual. But one of y'all don't want to deal with this person. Six of Cups reverse. And this could tie on to this energy. Some of y'all that could be the case. Some of y'all feel like this is somebody that want to pop up on their birthday and want you to show them some love and give them something. But I feel like you don't want to be bothered with them because of a bad experience that you had with this person. That's for some of my Leos. Y'all had a bad experience with this person and they only want to pop up to get something out of you yep but i am getting this pushed away energy i feel like a lot of my leos are pushing people away or it can be the opposite and people only want to come in to use you because we got gentleness nurturing mothering this nurturing spirit right and then we got somebody want to hold on because you are somebody that is like very loving and affectionate and stuff like that and I just feel like y'all are walking away. A lot of y'all are walking away. I'm getting this pushing away energy, whether this is old or new. Most of y'all is old love or current love that you are dealing with. But maybe y'all have just been, like, separated from, from, a, from a while, for a while now. And now they want to come back and try to, you know, some of y'all's person try to come back and get some, try to sleep with you, and you just, like, pushing them away. Yes, these are unloyal people. These people are not loyal to you. These people are super disloyal to you, like, literally. And I feel like y'all are pushing people away. Some of y'all should own baby mom or own baby dad. It's like they come back and expecting you to give them some, you know, whether it's a sex or it's like a gift or something. But it's like they always leave you hanging. I don't know why, but I'm here a placeholder. This person is trying to make it seem like you a placeholder. I'm here just in case. But, yeah, I just felt like whoever this is, for some of y'all that's coming back to renew this love with you, I just felt like you could be rejecting them. You don't miss them. I feel like you don't miss them. <laughs> you don't miss them. We got hopeful. Well, somebody ain't giving up. So, it's telling me they ain't giving up. Some of y'all, this person is not going to give up on you. So, if you do got somebody that you may love but you feel like it was just too much trauma dealing with this person if this person come back you gonna end up rejecting them but they is not gonna give up they not we got engagement some of y'all y'all may have somebody that's about to pop up and and, and and wanting to propose to you with y'all whoever this is this is somebody that wants to go the right way about doing things the proper way of doing things they are not here to play games with you we got no play so this could be, like I said, y'all take a resonate. It can tie in with the same energy 
or it could be just different messages for different Leos. But I am getting that energy that somebody could already be engaged, whether they want to come in and well, whether they come in and they engage with somebody else, or whether they want to come in and pop the question to you. Y'all take what resonates. I'm gonna do this the other way around for these cards first, and then probably another day. But y'all got people not wanting to give up on y'all. They want to get close to you. Yeah, y'all blocking people. I'm just getting this pushing away energy. You see this lady? Y'all don't want to be bothered. A lot of my Leos right now, y'all just don't want to be bothered with nobody. That's the energy that I'm getting. I just felt like you just want this person to stop calling you, stop texting you, you know, and move on. Maybe they are engaged. So some of y'all got somebody that is engaged to another person, right? And they keep reaching out, but you block them. You blocking them because you just don't want to be bothered. Like, you ain't got nothing to say to this person, you know, but um, I'm proper. I just feel like you leaving them stuck. This person's stuck on you, whoever this is. This could be somebody stuck on you, Leo. But let me go here and finish clarifying these cards and then lay off the other spread. Okay, we got love affairs. Look, two faced. I knew it. This, ugh, I don't like this energy. It's just, ugh, it's getting on my nerves already. <laughs> But yeah, I just felt like now, if you ain't doing this, maybe they have done this to you. Some of y'all's person probably blocked you. There could be somebody that is engaged to somebody else and maybe they blocked you and they could be leaving you stuck. Like I said, roles could be reversed. They don't have to be your energy. It can be their energy. But somebody is stuck in a love affair. Somebody is stuck. Maybe somebody cannot stop. Like I'm here, won't leave you alone. It's like they holding on to somebody that they are engaged to, but they still want to have sexual relations with you, Leo. You see what I'm saying? And try to keep you a secret. For some of y'all, that is the case. They're trying to keep you a secret. Yeah, they, they want to live a double life. We got two-faced, double life, cheater, backstabber. This person literally think they about to live a double life or literally think that they, they about to stay engaged to the person in the background that they are in a relationship with and continue to mess around with you. But you're not playing with this person. This person already put you through enough pain and heartbreak. Whoever this is, let me use these ones. Hey, I feel like they put you through enough. We got the tower. Wow. Yeah, it left some, somebody triggered. It got somebody triggered. Whoever this is that got blocked, they are definitely triggered. It could be a Scorpio. Don't have to be. But it is telling me that somebody that's engaged could be blocked and they could be devastated. Like I said, you could be blocking people. I feel like this is you, Leo. You could be the one that's blocking people out of your life. Whether you're physically blocking through phone or you just don't want nothing to do with them. Or you could just be blocking your energy and not giving them your energy. And they are devastated. Somebody is going through a massive transformation. Somebody going through some form of awakening. And they stuck on you. And they tried to keep you a secret. They tried to keep you a secret in the past, I feel like, when they was dealing with you. But I just feel, I'm just getting this energy where you let them go. You let them go, even if there was a one to initiate or you was the one to initiate the, the separation or whatever. I just felt like you let them go. But this person is still stuck on you for real. They secretly stuck on you. Because whoever this is, they love you. So some of y'all dealing with somebody that's already engaged to somebody else that, and they love you. This is like that movie Brown Sugar where um, the man, it, it, um, yeah, the girl from Love and Basketball, her name is Sana, Sana, I don't know her name, Shauna, Lathan, she and that dude was best friends, but they, he, the man ended up marrying another woman, but the whole time she was in love with him and that reminds me of loving basketball also but i'm here loving basketball maybe y'all knew this person since high school some of y'all knew this person since high school or maybe when, since y'all was little you know what i'm saying i am getting that energy but i'm getting some loving basketball brown sugar vibes leo between you and another person you see what i'm saying and they turned around and got engaged or married a whole other person or whatever and now it's like now that you don't want nothing to do with them and you block them out of your life, now they back here devastated and stuck on you because they tried to like literally 
only keep y'all on the low low. Like, cause the only thing is that y'all was messing around with each other. Some of y'all was messing around with, with, with each other. You know what I'm saying? The rest of y'all, you probably never slept with this person, but y'all did fall in love and you felt some type of way. So you just let them go. You know what I'm saying? And maybe, I don't know, but I just feel like somebody that's realizing that they do love you. You know what I'm saying? I am getting that energy and they could be breaking free from some form of, you know, situationship or relationship from from a from a lover somebody is breaking free somebody is getting over somebody that they are involved with and they are dead serious but we got two face right here but i feel like even though they they love you leo if you're the one on the outside i don't want to be vulgar even though they, even though that they love you some of y'all's person is having a hard time literally um Figuring out who they really, what they, how they really want to go about doing things. Because some of y'all persons switch up sometimes. Maybe they switch up on you. You got two face right here. But I feel like you don't want to play no games. I, I feel like they don't want to hurt you for real. You know what I'm saying? They don't. But some of y'all feel like this person is like two face. You just, some of y'all just feel like this person don't know what they want. You don't know if this person, this person don't know if they want to stay where they at or where they want to continue to F with you, but you made a decision for them. That's exactly what I'm hearing. I feel like you have made a decision for somebody, Leo, for some of y'all. Yeah, I feel like you have already made a decision because this is somebody that, that hurt you. You know what I'm saying? And they thought they was going to hold on to you and live their life and help live a double life. But no, this is somebody that really was okay with that. I just feel like this is somebody who was trying to make you and the person that they are engaged with or married to happy at the same time. But you wasn't with that because you just, you didn't want that. You didn't want nobody that's going to come and go as they please. You want somebody that's going to commit to only you. But I am hearing that some of y'all's person could be wanting to give you that engagement. They want to, they want to marry you. Because they can't get over you. And they're serious. I feel like they want to give that to you instead of the person that they are currently in, you know, in a relationship with. But I feel like a lot of y'all just don't desire this person anymore. Y'all withhold y'all energy from this person and still got this person stuck. They pissed off. Y'all got somebody pissed off Leo in the background for some of y'all. I'm telling y'all, this person could be married or engaged to somebody and you blocked them. And now they're feeling it. They are devastated by this. They stuck in a, in, a, in a love affair, you know what I'm saying? But they're going to get out of it. They're going to find a way to break free, some of y'all. Because you don't play no games. You sure don't play no games. If you find if you see something funny with this person, you out. But I am seeing a lot of y'all have already mentally moved past that energy and physically moved past that energy. But let's pull some more cards. I'm just getting a lot of this spread, this whole situation. I feel like a lot of y'all are pushing people away, away. If they ain't serious about you, you don't want nothing to do with them. You do not want nothing to do with these people at all. I'm trying to think, should I pull these cards? I ain't pulled these in like a long time. It's been a long time. Yep, y'all. Some of y'all are moving on and, and creating a whole new life. We got new life because y'all been through a lot. One more card. One more card, spirit. You moving on? It got somebody's life in shambles and they conflicted. Then I say the same energy keep popping up no matter if I try to change the subject. Somebody is literally conflicted and going through some things. Some, some some chaos right now and I'm, I'm getting this waking up energy somebody is like this little this fairy is waking up so I just feel like somebody is having a spiritual awakening behind the scenes Leo and their life is is in shambles right now because you have walked away you walking away is making them mad and I keep picking up on that energy you walking away is making somebody upset Clear intuitive messages, please. You got somebody mad. They struggling. 
The struggle is worth the prize. Work around the issue and use a gentle touch. So yes, somebody, you have moved on, right? I feel like because y'all feel like y'all need to protect y'all Spirit is protecting you. You moving on because you know your worth. There's a flower in the middle. You moving on because you know your worth and you, you feel like you need to protect yourself from, you know, deceptive people, period. But I'm telling y'all, this person is waking up, real, you know, all in their head. You know, they having a spiritual awakening. Chaos and conflict. This person is really going through it right now. And you know what's crazy? Because some of you guys is saying that this person, they going to come back around, but not right away. I'm hearing now is not the time. You know what? Not this card. Now is not the time. Let me pull some of my cards and see what's going on. I don't know why, but some of y'all, this person could be, I don't know. Somebody could be in jail or something. I don't know. Or like I said, it could be spiritual jail. This being conflicted. I just keep hearing conflicted and stuck. Pissed off. Because you're pushing people away that are not loyal. And I don't blame you. If they're not only loyal to you, you don't want nothing to do with them. But you moving on, it got people, ooh, look, in shock, devastated. You have moved on. Somebody could be pregnant. Somebody could be triggered because they're pregnant. Or it could be somebody triggered because you move up, moved on and started a whole new life. It also can be that. They feel threatened. They feel threatened by your new life. And they want to have makeup set. They want to have makeup sex with you, Leo, whoever this is. But they're going through something. I, I feel like y'all ain't going to see this person in a while because they're going through so much. Whoever this is. Dang, can I shuffle the cards? These, all these cards want to come out. We got meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. Yeah, this person going to eventually reach out to you and want to talk to you. So some of y'all, this person... um. You got, some of y'all going to end up running into this person out of nowhere. Some of y'all going to end up running into this person, literally. And they're going to be single. I feel like you're going to be single. Now, it's also telling me that some of you guys could be talking to your friends and um, your family about what happened. I don't know. Or could you just having fun? Maybe you're going out for drinks with friends and family members. Some of you guys. I'm just getting this happily single energy where you just living your life, Leo, literally, without this person. Okay, I need one more card. So if this is this person, you yeah, some of y'all gonna end up running into this person and they don't want to be friends with you, but you don't you're gonna be declining, you're gonna reject it. Y'all going to end up running into this person somewhere out in public and literally <laughs> they go going to try to talk to you. But you, I just feel like a lot of y'all don't want to be bothered with nobody. It could be an old person or it can be a new person. I'm just seeing a lot of pushing away. A lot of my Leos are pushing people away. It's like you're not trying to hear it. You're, you're just not. Maybe you, maybe somebody could be walking up to you trying to speak game to you and, you know, and it just, you, you just feel like they for play. You know what I'm saying? You know what's up you know it's only for play and that could be the reason why you could be rejecting somebody but somebody is mad y'all got somebody mad i don't know who or well, you just got multiple people mad because you don't want their ass <laughs> it could be that it probably ain't even one person it's probably multiple people but like i said y'all just take what resonates if somebody is shocked that somebody could be pregnant though and they they upset we got, because they, some of y'all could have somebody new, you know what I heard? Some of y'all could have somebody new, right? And the past person could be devastated about that because you ended up pregnant. You know what I'm saying? They thought they were going to come back in, have makeup sex with you, and everything was going to be all good. But some of y'all ended up getting pregnant by somebody. Or maybe somebody could be telling you that they are, that they got somebody pregnant. I don't know, but... They have hurt me. So y'all are pushing people away because they hurt you. These are people from the past that has hurt you. That you don't want nothing to do with. I feel like it's old and new people that could be wanting to talk to you, Leo. But I just feel like 
you you done. You breaking free from anything that is not only about you. If it ain't benefiting you, you don't want nothing to do with it. Period. And if they ain't treating you right, you don't want nothing to do with it. Why is this card right here? I can't handle your love. So I'm hearing you too much of a woman. I'm hearing, um, I'm every woman. It's only me. <laughs> I heard Whitney Houston. I do anything you want done, baby. I do it naturally. Somebody name could be Whitney. Somebody could live in Houston, or somebody last name could be Houston, or first name could be Houston, but somebody probably from the, from Texas, Houston, Texas. Whether you live there, or you're from Houston, Texas, or you're just from Texas. But I'm hearing, I think Whitney Houston is a Leo. Yeah, Whitney Houston is a Leo too. But I feel like you're too much of a woman for these people, because I can, I straight got that. I'm every woman. You know what I'm saying? And if it ain't, I'm hearing, if they ain't on your level, if they ain't matching your frequency, you just don't want it to do with it. Like, I strongly feel like a lot of y'all are pushing people away. Even if you have unbreakable bonds with people, even if you have love for somebody, you don't want nothing to do with them. I'm hearing not today, Satan, not today. That's exactly what I heard. <laughs> Why do I feel so lost? These people are lost. These people are lost without you, Leo. They can't handle your love even if, if you gave it to them. You know what I'm saying? Because if they did, they wouldn't be out here, you know, being disloyal, lying, cheating, trying to have you in a mix of third parties, entanglements, and all that other stuff. You ain't, listen, I feel like y'all is not about to be part of that at all. But I'm hearing you too much of a woman, and they can't handle your womanhood, okay? They can't handle you, Leo, whoever these people is. But I don't know why that came up. Look, it is all too much. I told y'all, I'm every woman, it's only me. <laughs> that song is in my head now. I do anything I want done, baby. I do it naturally. I'm here. You can do it by yourself. Whatever a, a person can't do for you, you can do it for yourself. That's exactly what I heard. Yeah, you have outgrown a lot of people. You, every woman. Every woman. I just keep hearing that. I'm every woman. Yes. Somebody's birthday could be August 11th. I don't know why. But some, I'm hearing, or August 6th. Somebody could have six kids. Yeah, some of y'all could be a woman that is on a grind about their money, about their paper. You know, I just felt like you have outgrown a lot. You're not about to build no man. I'm here, I'm here to build a bear. <laughs> You're not about to build no man at all. You outgrown that style. You're not cooking for nobody to gain their love. You're not cleaning nobody's drawers to gain their love. You're not giving nobody no money to gain their love. Y'all worry about y'all money right now. A lot of my Leos have definitely outgrown these people. You are on your grind right now. You know, you focusing on your work, your business, and your career. But I just keep hearing, I'm every woman. Yes. I'm hearing what you can't do for me, the next one will. And if they can't do nothing for me, I can do it for myself. Either way, with or without a man or with or without a woman, you still can do it by yourself. That's the energy I'm picking up on. Look, y'all got people wanting to kiss your ass and everything, Leo, like, literally. You know, they, they gain some respect for you. You know what I'm saying? But I'm here to put some respect on my name. So some of y'all, you you about your paper, you're not about to, y'all you, have people lined up that want you. But I just felt like you want somebody that respects you. You want somebody that's going to be all about you. You want somebody, I'm hearing, that's going to cater to you, your wants, and your needs, Leo. I'm getting this bow down energy, like. You want somebody that's going to put you on a pedestal instead of the other way around. You're tired of putting other people on a pedestal. You're tired of loving other people. You're tired of giving other people what they want. It's your turn to get that treatment. You see what I'm saying? But listen, people are going to be coming back kissing your ass. Just know that. They, you're going to have a, some of y'all got a gang, of, a gang of people lined up for you right now. <laughs> but I feel like you don't want them because they just too controlling and you just, it's some things about them that you just don't like. Maybe you feel like they all the same. All these soldiers are the same. Some of y'all feel like they all the same. But I'm just here to shoot my shot. I'm telling y'all, y'all got people who want to shoot their shot with you, but they all the same. You are a rare breed, okay? You is a gift. 
I'm here. I am a gift to the universe. Y'all, y'all are a gift out here. Y'all are blessed. Y'all are highly favored. Y'all got people wanting to give you presents. Y'all got people wanting to gift you some things. People want to give you money. People want, like you will get, if you ain't got that yet, you will get that. People are literally going to want to kiss your tail. They're going to want to treat you like you, like just, just how you was hoping. I, I'm here. Just how you wanted somebody to treat you, you're going to get that. But it's telling me that you were somebody special, Leo. But just know that, I'm telling y'all, y'all got people lined up, but they ain't it. They can give you, open your door for you. They can give you money. They can give you special treatment all they want to, but I feel like you still don't want them. A lot of y'all in this spot right now where you probably don't even want love some of y'all do but you just want it by the right person you know what i'm saying but whoever this is these people not showing you the proper love and respect that you deserve leo i feel like they're going to feel very guilty about it yeah they're gonna be sick because you left it's a lot of guilt but they ain't gonna change either they just want to have control over you so i feel like a lot of y'all are doing the right thing by you know walking away from people that cannot love you properly leo you know what I'm saying? Because you know your worth. You you more than enough than all of these people, you know. But I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. I hope it resonates and y'all take care.